Imagine the unimaginable. If Egypt were ever to strike and destroy the GERD, the consequences would be catastrophic. To understand the scale of such a disaster, history gives us a chilling reminder. In 1975, the world witnessed one of the deadliest dam disasters in history. The Banqiao Dam, built in China's Henan province, was designed to withstand what engineers called a once-in-a-thousand-year flood. But when a typhoon unleashed rainfall far beyond expectations, the dam collapsed. Within hours, 701 million cubic meters of water surged downstream, more than the entire annual flow of many major rivers. Walls of water up to 10 meters high swallowed villages, cities, and farmland. Over 230,000 people drowned almost instantly, and in the weeks that followed. Disease, starvation, and the breakdown of relief efforts raised the death toll even further. Some estimates put the final figure close to 1 million lives lost, with more than 10 million people displaced, and the rich farmlands of Henan were damaged, and some villages and farmlands were never fully restored, even 50 years later. This tragedy reshaped dam engineering worldwide, serving as a reminder that when massive reservoirs fail, the human and environmental costs are unimaginable. Now consider the GERD. It is far larger than Banqiao. While Banqiao held under 0.5 billion cubic meters, the GERD reservoir can store nearly 74 billion cubic meters, about 150 times more water. If, in a worst-case scenario, the GERD were to collapse or be deliberately destroyed, the consequences for the Nile Basin would be catastrophic. A sudden release could send a torrent of water rushing into Sudan within hours. Modeling suggests flood depths in Khartoum and other Sudanese cities could reach several meters, drowning entire districts. Downstream, Egypt would face massive inundation along the Nile Valley, with urban flooding, infrastructure collapse, and farmland washed away. The death toll in such an event could reach several millions in Sudan and Egypt, combined with tens of millions more displaced. Beyond the immediate loss of life, there would be famine, disease outbreaks, and long-term economic collapse across the region. International law, including the Geneva Conventions and the UN Watercourses. Convention explicitly forbids attacks on dams because of these risks. The Banqiao disaster showed what natural forces alone could do. A man-made failure of the GERD would be even worse, leaving a humanitarian. An ecological disaster unprecedented in modern history. Egypt cannot simply attack the GERD. International law forbids it. And the Ethiopian National Defense Force guards the dam, with advanced security systems, including surveillance, radar, and early warning tools. Any attempt would be not only illegal, but nearly impossible, given the dam's size and strategic defenses. The lesson is clear. Dams hold both promise and peril. They power nations and sustain agriculture, but their safety must never be compromised. Because when such giants fall, entire civilizations can be swept away.